At Oticon, we believe that it's important to follow best practice guidelines with regards to pediatric amplification. These guidelines recommend that for infants and children who are too young to sit still for real ear measurements, that hearing instruments should be fit and verified in the 2cc coupler. We also need to take into account the child's individual ear acoustics by measuring the real ear to coupler difference. This short video will show you how to perform coupler-based verification using the Sensei Pro hearing instrument, the Genie software, and the AudioScan VeriFit system. We'll also show you how to incorporate the RECD measurement into the hearing aid fitting. Coupler-based verification is extremely important because children are not able to tell us what they can and cannot hear. Therefore, it provides a way for the audiologists to ensure that there is adequate audibility for various input levels. The first step is to retrieve the patient in NOAA, then launch Genie. Remember to enter the date of birth of the child as this will trigger age-specific defaults for the pediatric hearing instrument settings. At any time, these defaults can be changed by going into the Genie pediatric preferences. Next, connect the hearing instrument and detect it in Genie. Genie will detect the age of the child and display the default pediatric settings for that age range. If the child is 0 to 3 years old, there will also be a pop-up window alerting the clinician that ear molds are recommended for this age range. On the acoustic screen, the acoustics in Genie should be changed to match the hearing instrument acoustics. For example, if using a pediatric ear hook, ensure that the pediatric ear hook is selected from the drop-down menu. Next, go to the audiogram screen and ensure that the choices selected reflect what was done during the audiometry. Also, ensure that the same transducers are selected in the VeriFit system. Next, we go to the RECD screen. Here, we can either use an age-appropriate predicted RECD or enter a previously measured RECD. Alternatively, the easy RECD tool in Sensei Pro is another way of accounting for individual ear acoustics, especially when no measuring equipment is available. This example shows how to use previously measured RECD data, which was saved in NOAA and then manually entered into Genie. In some cases, it will also be possible to import the data directly by clicking on the Import from NOAA button. Once the measured RECD values have been entered, Genie will recalculate the fitting to take that into account. If it is not possible to use individually measured RECDs, it is recommended to use predicted age-appropriate RECD values. These values are already available in Genie. The next step is now to go to the fitting screen where we can see the SPLogram, the DSL targets, as well as the hearing aid frequency response. To prepare for the coupler-based verification, attach the Sensei instrument to the 2cc coupler BTE adapter and position it in the test box. Ensure that both the hearing aid microphone and the reference microphone are at the same distance from the test box speakers. The audiogram can be easily transferred from NOAA to the VeriFit by using the AudioScan NOAA module. UCLs are also automatically predicted when using the DSL fitting rationale and will also be displayed on the screen. Next, ensure that the same measured RECD values that were used in Genie are also entered in the VeriFit. Start the verification process. Measure the output of the hearing instrument using average, loud, and soft inputs. Adjust the hearing instruments in Genie if necessary so that the output matches the DSL targets. First, measure the output of the hearing instrument using a 65 dB SPL speech input. Second, measure the output using a 75 dB SPL speech input. Third, measure the output using a 50 dB SPL input. Measure the MPO and ensure that the frequency response does not overshoot into the UCLs. If so, adjust the MPO in Genie. 
Finally, once all the levels have been verified, the responses are matching the targets and the MPO is not above the UCL thresholds, the hearing instrument is now ready to be fit to the child. Remember, if no measuring equipment is available or if lack of time is a concern, the easy RECD tool available in Sensei Pro is an alternative for measuring individual ear acoustics. With the easy RECD, no external equipment is necessary. Individual ear acoustics are taken into account by measuring directly using the child's ear mold and hearing instrument. For more information on the easy RECD, please visit the Oticon People First channel on YouTube.